Barcelona react to the split results of uh, the second semi-final of Eurovision Song Contest 2019. So I already uh, done uh, the reactions to the first semi-final and the grand final. So the second semi-final is only left. And there are some interesting results here. So let's just jump into them. So first place uh, was belonged to the actual winner of the grand final of the Eurovision this year to the Netherlands with uh, they finished with uh, 280 points with the televoting second place 140 points and third place with the jury's 100 uh, 140 points so that's that's exactly the same like it was in the grand final yeah deserved winner in the semi final he, of the semi-final, he was as amazing as in the final here, so yeah, mm, no surprises at all. Uh, yeah, second uh, was North Macedonia, uh, the runner-up of this semi-final, 239 points, only one point more than the third place. Uh, the televoting ranked uh, North Macedonia seventh with 84 points and. Like in the with the grand final, like in the grand final, North Macedonia was the winner of the juries, with here with 155 points. So no surprises at all. Uh, the same winner as in the final, North Macedonia very well deserved. Um, yeah, yeah that, that's a really good result. I mean, North Macedonia is up, up, up the game. Um, it's amazing. And th only, uh, only one point away from second place, third, Sweden. Um, with the televoting, Sweden was sixth, a bit uh, better than uh, North Macedonia. 88 points, and with the jury's second place, 100, 150 points. Um, yeah, again, the same situation uh, as in the grand final. Uh, Sweden was ranked uh, behind North Macedonia and Sweden, uh, in the, with the juries and with the televoting Sweden was slightly, well, uh, in the grand final it was uh, more, more than 30 points, but still, uh, North Macedonia was slightly better here, one point, uh, in the final it was uh, more, more... Yeah, it was more, but with the with the juries, North Macedonia nailed it and won the juries. Uh, anyways, fourth place belonged to the to Switzerland, two hundred thirty two points. With the televoting, third place, hundred hundred thirty seven, and with the juries, sixth point uh, sixth place, <laughs> no, no, not six points, sixth place with ninety five points. The same situation with the televoting very high, uh, with the juries a uh, bit lower, but still really high. Um, yeah, it's, it's not surprising at all that we have uh, Switzerland so uh, high. Well, uh, here we have Switzerland uh, lower than Sweden and Macedonia. Uh, you know when we with the transition to the grand final it's a lot much different because the, the the running order it splits and doesn't let the, the neighbor voting going on and so from the other semi-final in the grand final we have all the countries voting so it's more of neighbor voting in the final that's why it goes this way. And then fifth, Azerbaijan with 224 points, um, with the televoting fifth place, 121 points, and with the juries also fifth place, 105 points. Why doesn't it surprise me too much? It was kind of obvious that uh, it would do so well here. Um, yeah. Uh, Azerbaijan was really good in the semi-final um, and also in the final. 
it's like the same. Uh, Chingis were, was uh, both in the grand final really high with the televoting and the, with the juries. So yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, Chingis had m much more, like 200 something uh, with the juries uh, points, while with the televoting he had uh, 100. So yeah. Here uh, he got appreciated more by performing la as last uh, with the televoting, by tele televoting. Sixth, surprisingly only sixth, was Russia with 217 points, with the televoting 424 points, with the jury's 7th place 93 points. And um, yeah, sixth uh, here, well in the grand final third. And, like I've said before, uh, in the grand final there was uh, Belarus, Georgia, and who else, who else, from the post-Soviet countries, Estonia, Poland, um, and, well, you know, and some other countries. Uh, so, uh, Russia got some points thanks to that. Um, yeah, and again, with the juries, uh, Sergei did uh, slightly worse than with the televoting. Everything was expected. Like, not, no surprises at all. Seventh, Norway, with 210 points. Winner of the televoting, also here, like in the grand final, with 170 points, 30 points more than the Netherlands. The same like in the grand final, like 101 well, uh, 31 points more than the Netherlands actually in the grand final, so that's everything is the same. But with the juries only 11th place with 40 points, and that's the best uh, difference, I guess, uh, that we will get this year between the televoting and the juries. Also, Iceland is one, so these two actually are very. Uh, very different from each other. Yeah, it's also a really good place. And those all those seven countries, this, these top seven countries, were actually in the top ten of the grand final. So second semi-final slayed it totally in the grand final. Then, and here we have a really huge gap between Norway and Malta. 20, uh, 67 points. That's a lot. No, sorry. It is 40... 53, actually. No, no, it's 53. But still, a lot. Quite a lot. Uh, Malta, 8th place with 157 points. 10th place with the televoting, 50 points. And with the jury's 4th place, 107. So, uh, Michela was underrated by the televoting. Interestingly. Mm, and appreciated by the juries. Well, it's a, it, 18, 8th place is a good place. And then we have another huge gap. Like it's 61 points uh, between the 8th and 9th place. 9th was Albania, 96 points. With the televoting, Albania got 9th place with 80, 80, uh, 58 points. Too many numbers, sorry, too many. Uh, with the jury's 12th place and 38 points. Well, only 3 points more than the 11th place, the non-qualification place. Uh, so that's really, uh, really tight. tight. Um, well, I'm happy that Albania got, got through. Second year in a row, that's a huge achievement for them. Uh, since they qualified for the last time in 2015 and since they weren't so lucky and last year they all nailed, nailed it totally uh, and the 10th was Denmark with 94 points just one point more than the 11th place uh, Denmark was 11th uh, in the televoting with 41 points and with the juries 9th um, place 53 points so that was really, really tight. Only one point, only one point. That's that's just uh, like a hundred maybe uh, votes 
then maybe thousand. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. As for your Eurovision, the, the event that uh, you know lo millions of people watch. That that's not a lot. And eleven surprisingly was Lithuania actually ninety three points with the televoting eighth place seventy seven points. But the jury screwed up uh, Yuri real bad because he was only 17 with only 16 points. Like big, big, uh, not a big surprise, but I'm surprised that he did so well. I, I, I expected Yuri to be like liked by the audience because it's such a simple but cool song with the great camera angles, you know. Uh, he, when he looked it, you know, he melted some hearts for sure of the uh, female <laughs> audience. So yeah, nothing surprising at all. But yeah, 12th Moldova, uh, 85 points and non-qualification after two very, very successful years in the top 10 uh, every year. Um, and uh, Moldova was 13th with the televoting, 27 points. And surprisingly, because the sand uh, art didn't convince the people too much, but the juries loved the song and the vocals, obviously. 58 points and 8th place. Yeah, that's really interesting how the juries uh, voted. And as we see in the televoting of the juries now, top 7 of the televoting was the same as in the top... Uh, well, actually not. Pardon. But it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. On only Malta and Norway are out. But mostly televoting and jury agree. Like it's 7 out of 10. They agree on, on seven, both. They don't agree on uh, Albania, Lithuania, Denmark, those three, yeah. That's interesting to uh, see that. And on Norway, actually, Norway, uh, it was 11th in the juries. But anyways, let's go back. Moldova, I, th I thought, yeah, that the juries will appreciate um, Anna, because her, her vocals were, her live performance was really, really, really good. So not a surprise at all. And a big shock for me, because I expected Romania to qualify only 13th place with 71 points. Televoting didn't like this uh, performance, this lit, it was really fuego, totally fuego, all over the stage. Uh, those fires, people like, were, oh, they were amazed when the first fire uh, in the in the verses co came uh, up like the, I was like whoa this is so cool and it's a big grower for me I would have Romania now in the top ten maybe even in top five I love this performance it was amazing it was literally lit um, well the voting didn't appreciate her too much underrated her totally 14th place 24 points with the juries. 10th place, 47 points. And then 14th place, Croatia, 64 points. Uh, with the televoting, 12th place, 38 points. With the juries, 14th place, 26. Both jury and the televoting underrated. Didn't appreciate too much. Rocco and his hot boys, uh, his angels, guardian angels. Um, no. The performance wasn't too, too much convincing for the people, that's all. 15th place, Latvia, 50 points. Uh, 16th in the televoting, 13 points. With the juries, a little bit more appreciated. 13th place, uh, 37 points. Latvia, I think it was well-deserved place. I think... Of course, it wasn't uh, something, you know, big and special. It was just a simple performance, and I loved it. It was really cool, uh, really good. Um, then 16th place, Armenia, 49 points only. Another surprise for me. Uh, 15th place with the televoting, 23 points. 
with the juries also 15th place and 26 points. What else to say? Um, the, the performance was just too aggressive for me, um, too much, too much of, go, of drama, too much of everything going on. Um, yeah, it, it, I don't know. Maybe performing as first didn't help her at all, like it did with Tanta. Uh, no, I, I have no idea what to say about this one. But it wasn't too, too good. Then, uh, that uh, second to last, Austria, 21 points. Uh, Null, Puan, 0 points with the televoting, the last place. And with the juries uh, giving her Panda Panda 21 points, 16th place actually, so really good. Uh, then, uh, as last, Ireland 16 points only, televoting giving her 3 points, uh, 17th place, and uh, last place with the juries 13 points. Uh, as for me, underrated totally, uh, but yeah, what, what else can we expect? Uh, those uh, the Austrians and uh, Austrian and Irish song weren't that weren't that good. They were just okay. They were nice to listen to, and that's all. Not as big as Norway, Netherlands, Switzerland, Russia, Azerbaijan, Sweden, or Macedonia. They weren't that big, so no surprises at all. And uh, let's look around at the uh, 12 points given out in the semi-final. So Sweden g got the most 12 points in the uh, with the juries, 7. Uh, seven, 7 multiplied by 12, so that's really good. From Armenia, mm, nice, eastern country. And then Austria, Denmark, Ireland, Latvia, Netherlands, Norway. Not su no surprises at all. Uh, North Macedonia, <laughs> from Albania, Croatia, and Germany, United Kingdom, that's interesting. The uh, Netherlands, from Lithuania, Malta, Switzerland. Romania, from Moldova and Russia, wow, what a surprise, I mean, come on. Uh, Eastern countries, vote for Eastern countries, Albania, got from North Macedonia, uh, Moldova from Romania, Russia from Azerbaijan, no surprises at all. The televoting, Norway got from Denmark, 12 points. Albania got from North Macedonia, for example. Um, and from Italy. So many surprises. And Switzerland, the diaspora in uh, Switzerland, the Albanian diaspora there is huge. Uh, Lithuania from Ireland, like always they do give there 12 points and then who else we got here mm, Russia army Ar Armenia to Russia Azerbaijan to Russia Latvia from to Russia again no surprises uh, Swiss Austria Germany to to Switzerland Russia to Azerbaijan Lithuania to Latvia Romania to Moldova Croatia to North Macedonia Moldova to Romania uh, neighbor voting at its highest level, uh, at its highest pe peak, I mean. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't that neighborhood voting as it was in the uh, first semi-final. This semi-final, this second semi-final was much more beyond uh, neighbor voting. <laughs> Amazing. It's uh, always such a such interesting thing to analyze the... Um, the neighbor voting, I love to analyze it. Uh, I always do so. Uh, you know, since 2004, when the semifinals semifinals were introduced, one semifinal actually, uh, I like to analyze it until uh, nowadays. It's really interesting how the countries always vote for each other, how many points, how many the persons are of uh, every voting they give. Them, both in the all, uh, every year and then uh, both in the semi-finals and the finals to each other yeah that's really really interesting if you get into it it's really interesting there's a really cool site ESC database 
uh, and you can find it and when you get into it you won't get out of it because it's so so interesting really uh, you can analyze every year uh, anything you want so I recommend it really to check it out so yeah that's it for this uh, video uh, if you liked it do the thumbs up if you want to uh, share your opinion in the comment section below do so and uh, so we'll discuss Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell icon and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have accounts there. And yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye.